Welcome to this week's TDD Weekly Report for the week ending November 10th, 2018. And I have some news for everybody, maybe sad news for some, but um, I'm thinking after about 11 years doing the TDD Report since 2007, actually, on live video. It didn't even start. This TDD Report didn't even start on YouTube. In fact, it was an accident that this TDD Report even came to YouTube. I originally posted a TDD report on live video, a site which doesn't even exist anymore. And then when that site kind of shut down and was out of business, I was using another YouTube channel to post my TDD reports on another site, which has since shut down too. But anyway, in between when I was posting to that other place, I accidentally loaded one of them up to this channel and it went out on the air on this channel, even though it was never intended to be for YouTube viewers. And I got a kind of surprising response. Not a huge amount of people, but a number of people said, hey, I like this. Uh, are you going to keep doing this? And I said, well, this was accidentally uploaded, but I, you know, I guess I could continue on and do it as a YouTube thing too. So I think that was about, oh, 70, that's probably about 2010, 2011, best I can remember. But anyway, this has been going on for um, 11 years, and, and if, if I stuck with it another year till 2019, it would be 12 years, but it's about time that things come to an end. Things have a beginning, things have a middle, and things have an end. And uh, just to let everybody know, it's not like nothing has happened, nothing dramatic's happened to make me, you know, all of a sudden, oh, come to this, you know, sudden decision. It's not a sudden decision. It's It's been 11 years. It's been a good run. Um, I'm hoping I got a lot of people interested in science. I'm hoping a lot of you will continue on with your interest in science. We still have plenty of outlets for science like space.com and um, just go to YouTube and type science news. Um, you can type science news in Google. If you are a member of Facebook, just look for uh, the dumpster divers or just contact me on Facebook. I'll leave links to my Facebook page, the dumpster divers group on Facebook page. I'll leave uh, a copy of my email if anybody wants to get in touch with me through email and you can always message me most of you most of you know how to get in touch with me and it's not like I'm leaving YouTube anyway just because the TDD report is going to come to a conclusion doesn't mean my YouTube channel is going to be shut down doesn't mean I'm going to stop making videos I mean I don't make a tremendous amount of videos anyway and I don't expect even after the TDD report goes off the air that I will be making more than maybe two videos a month at the most but that's plenty enough I mean I want to do it uh, in the kind of manner that makes it fun to do and don't just feel like I'm pressured to push out videos so as I feel led I will do videos and they may have any topic involved they may be about science they may be about gadgets or they may be about some other thing I'm doing like working with metal learning to weld or um, trying to learn to weld with a wire welder when I can get it put together which I haven't got around to but just lots of things going on in my life and a variety of things like that so if you're interested, I would like to ask you to give it a try. If you haven't, give a try to my friend's um, Muzzle Mike and his ITL report. His is a variety channel. It's similar to mine in some ways because he does gadgets, but he also does a wide variety of topics. I mean, sometimes he'll talk about guns. Sometimes he'll talk about lawnmowers, snowblowers, mechanical type of things. He'll talk about new LED lights that he tests out on equipment. So um, just give him a try, too. He's been running his show for quite a few years now, too, and he constantly promotes my TDD report and I really thank him for that and I would like to uh, and I'll leave a link down to his uh, channel too so you can check that out down in the description box but anyway it's been a good run for 11 years I'd like to thank everybody that stuck with me uh, there's probably about maybe 20 to 30 loyal viewers still around that watch my reports constantly and uh, I'd like to thank you very much I'd also like to thank my contributors I'm not even going to try to list the names you guys know who you are especially the regulars lately that have been helping me out with the TDD report a lot of them I give credit to constantly from week to week every one of you guys has made it a lot easier and probably helped me continue it on for years past when I normally would have I kind of thought after about eight or nine years I would just uh, call it quits then but feels more like now is the time to do it. I mean, I got my interest, I'll, I'll tell you a little bit of history about me. I got my interest in science uh, a lot from my dad. Probably I had some natural interest in science too, but he, he encouraged me all the way because he was a, a NASA aerospace engineer, scientist type of guy himself. He worked in the Gemini program, the Apollo program. Uh, he worked all the way up to, uh, uh, from the Gemini capsules and the docking maneuvers and the spacewalk uh, uh, suits. He he was the one. His engineering team worked on the space suits for the spacewalks, and but he was also uh, very knowledgeable on the other things. Like uh, he would talk to me about the docking missions where they uh, docked the two uh, 
capsules together to try out some of the equipment for the docking maneuvers that they would need later for the Apollo launch. And then he later on he helped the astronauts train to use the spacesuits for the habit, uh, kind of like the uh, wearable habitat that they used on the moon. His team designed that too. Uh, as a kid growing up, basically, my dad had all kinds of engineers and scientists at the house all the time. I mean, maybe they weren't people that were extremely famous to the public. Never got any astronauts to come to the house, though. I guess they were all, always on a busy schedule. And my dad also would never get an autograph of any of the astronauts he'd talk about it he's like they're co-workers they're not superstars or anything they're just my co-workers so to him it wasn't any big deal working with astronauts because he did it all the time but I always thought as a kid it would have been cool if he would have gotten an autograph uh, not that I didn't get plenty of material though he had there was publicity material all around the place now we couldn't get inside we could just as a family we could only park in the parking lot and we had to have a special security pass on our car to do that but on the way out the door my dad said there were always tables piled with press materials and promotional materials and I guess stuff you know NASA would you know just drop off or the I don't know if it was some stuff maybe the astronauts or somebody else, some other officials from NASA but there was always plenty of material I had stacks and stacks of it as a kid I've I've gotten rid of volumes and volumes of it and I still think I have I don't know maybe about a two or three inch high stack of some of this stuff my dad gave me from uh, when he worked with NASA so anyway that was where I got my interest in science from him and he always encouraged it uh, uh, he had access to all kinds of equipment, all kinds of chemicals, all kinds of gadgets and stuff like that. And if he could possibly do it while I was growing up, he got it for me. I had an electronics lab and a chemistry lab that was just probably the envy of any kid, especially at that age. And probably some of my equipment was as good as people in college uh, were working with. But uh, he would always attempt to get it for me uh, some way, somehow. But anyway... The TDD report is going to come to a conclusion after this, and uh, thank you again to everybody that has watched and made it possible for me to have this nice 11-year run. It's hard to imagine anything to last 11 years. I've had a lot of hobbies that haven't lasted quite 11 years. So, Anyway, you guys take care, keep interested in science, and hopefully we'll get the chance before my generation passes away to see human beings walking on Mars. That was one of my dad's dreams, so I hope to see that someday. So take care, and I will catch you around on the Facebook and on the YouTubes. Take care, everybody.